Hi everyone, Swift Jar here. Hello. Today, we're jumping back into some further Mario Party Superstar speculation. It's another great day because we have new Superstars information to share. So let's go ahead and get straight on into the new information. Firstly, this old image on screen, which has long stumped the community, has finally been confirmed as the minigame Crazy Cutter from Mario Party 1. This is thanks to an Italian advert which shows more of the image. Crazy Cutter is a full player minigame in Mario Party 1. Players have to cut the fossilized characters as accurately as possible. In Mario Party, the shapes are Goombas, bob and Boos. Any player who gets at least 80 points successfully cuts out the shape and wins the minigame. Secondly, there has been a recent pre-order advert for Mario Party Superstars in Japan which reveals new minigame icons. As per the advert on screen, we can see sprites from minigames as well as characters. I located this information from FJ on Twitter, so big thanks to you. After looking into the image on screen for longer than I actually want to admit, I can confirm amongst the already confirmed minigame sprites on the image, I am 99% sure I can spot and confirm three new minigames. There is however other icons I'm not quite sure what they are, but if you do know, please let me know down in the comment section below. Before we go ahead and discuss these three minigames, thanks to the support I've received so far, I'm going to be giving away a copy of Mario Party Superstars when the game launches. To be eligible, all you have to do is be subscribed to my YouTube channel. Bonus entries are also going to be given if you're following me on Twitter and Twitch as well. The links to them are in the description below. The first minigame based on this blue cannon icon, and I believe has been confirmed for Superstars, is Shell Shock from Mario Party 2. Shell Shock is a four player minigame. Here the players attempt to knock out the rest of the players by shooting cannonballs with Koopa tanks. Here the tanks are resembled by Koopa shells, it's a really cool concept. I really enjoyed this minigame when I was younger. It was always a good laugh and I enjoyed playing on the three different stages available. The second minigame based on this cherry icon, I believe is Picking Panic from Mario Party 3, which I actually chose in my minigame speculation video, so go me. Picky Panic is a 2v2 minigame. I'm glad they've chosen to select this minigame as it has Woody from the already confirmed Woody Woods board in the minigame. It just feels fitting. In this minigame, one player on the team picks fruit from Woody and throws it to the other player who puts it into the basket. This is all being performed while swinging from a rope. It's quite impressive. The team that has more points at the end of the minigame wins. The third minigame, based on this hammer icon, I believe is Hammer Slammer from Mario Party 2, which is also another minigame I selected in my speculation video, so again, go me. Hammer Slammer is an item minigame found in Spaceland. Here the player has to hit the target spot hard enough with a hammer to bring the pointer up to the desired item. If the player hits the target too hard or lands the pointer on the Baby Bowser item, they get nothing, so make sure you don't do that. There is however a few icons which have left me slightly slumped, not including the already confirmed minigame icons. So let me know what you think they could be down in the comment section below. To keep up to date with all new information that drops on Mario Party Superstars, make sure you're subscribed to ensure you don't miss out on me discussing it, and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Again, I'm on Twitter and Twitch as well, at SwiftJar, so be sure to follow me over there. I have an entire playlist of Mario Party Superstars for you to check out as well, so be sure to have a look down in the description or click the link on screen. Take care, and I'll catch you all in the next video.